Hi, welcome back to our Dividing Fractions video series. We have a pretty long objective today. You really only need to write this part. I can divide a fraction by a whole number, but these are two other kind of mini objectives that are within this video as well. So I can divide fractions by fractions using visual models, area models, other kinds of models, and I can show the quotient in connection to multiplying fractions. As long as you have this one, it's okay. Um, our first problem is talking about cooking, maybe pancakes or a cake. So three fourths a gallon of batter is poured equally into two bowls. How many gallons of batter are in each bowl? To solve this, we will use an area model. Since the whole and the whole area model is across the top like that. I can show one hole since the hole is being cut into two equal parts or bowls. This is the partitive model of division. That's what it's called. So what division expression can we write to match this story? Well, it would be three over four divided by two. So we have a fraction divided by a whole number. We can also think of this problem as asking three fourths is two groups of what? So let's take a look at how to solve this using the area model. The whole or how much batter is being shared is three fourths of a gallon. The story tells us that the batter is poured equally into two bowls. So we need to show our three fourths in the model and we also need to show our two parts that it's being split into. I'm going to show my three-fourths vertically, okay? And here are my four pieces. Three of these are going to be shaded in one color. So this is showing all of the batter that I have. Maybe I only made three fourths of all the batter. Then I'm going to show my two bowls by drawing another line horizontally um, to partition my model into two equal parts. So this is showing the first bowl up here and the second bowl down here. Now our model shows three fourths being partitioned into those two equal parts. One half is what I need to shade in here because I want to know how much is in each bowl. So in one bowl, therefore I'm only looking at one half. And I didn't shade over here because that would be extra batter that I'm not using. We could also say that our model shows half of three fourths because dividing by two and multiplying by one half are the same, like we learned in keep, change, flip. We labeled our model to show one half and three fourths. So if I took my three fourths and I divided it in half, I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts and three of those parts are completely filled in with both blue and purple. So your numerator is going to be where you see both colors and your new denominator is how many pieces total are in your entire area model. So three eighths gallons are in each bowl. And you can kind of see, I checked our problem using the standard algorithm while we were going. So keep, change, flip still happened, but now we're showing it in our area model as well. Let's do another problem like this, where we have lasagna. Three fourths a pan of lasagna is shared equally among six friends. What fraction of the pan will each friend get? Again, this is a partitive division problem. Since we're told that there are six parts, 
or that the lasagna is being shared equally among six friends. A division expression that we could use to represent this story problem would be three over four, or three fourths of the pan divided by the six friends that are going to eat it. When we're solving this problem, we can also think three fourths is sixth groups of what? And using our area model to solve, I know that our entire model this way is representing one whole. And now I have to show how much lasagna is being shared. So I'm going to start by dividing the pan into fourths, and then I'll show three of those fourths. Okay, so here are my three fourths this way. Three out of my four pieces will be colored in, and I like to use a light color first so that you can see the dark color overlapping after. Okay, so there's the amount of lasagna that's being divided up by our six friends. Now I have to partition the model again to show how the six friends are going to cut up their slices. So I'll use a horizontal line this time and cut it into six pieces horizontally. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So each one of these small pieces is one sixth going this way. And I can show that one sixth because really when we're dividing and we're doing heat change flip, this is like we're multiplying by one sixth when we're really dividing by six. So I have to show my one sixth that I'm zooming in on because I wanna know how much each friend will get, or one friend, if they're all getting it equally, I can zoom in on one out of the six friends. So our numerator is where you see both colors, one, two, three, or three times one is three. And our denominator is the entire model, how many pieces do we have all together? So that's a four by six is 24. I could reduce this. This could be my answer three twenty-fourths of a pan, but if you choose to simplify, you would do three over 24. I know three can go into both of those, or three is divisible by three and 24 is divisible by three. So three divided by three is one, 24 divided by three is eight. So an equivalent answer would be each friend gets one eighth of the pan. And then, we're going to do one more problem. So go ahead and write this problem. A rope, you can ignore these little sixes, it's from when I folded paper before. A rope of a length two over five meters is cut into four equal cords. What is the length of each cord? So I'm actually going to show you on this page. Using a new method that we haven't tried yet, in this video, it's called a tape diagram. Um, we've been using area models in this video, but a tape diagram is another strategy that you can use with division of fraction problems. And this might click with you more than the area models do. So the more strategies that we know, the better. Again, this is a partitive division problem since we're told that there are four parts or that the rope is cut equally into four cords. So the division expression that we can use to represent this story problem would be two over five divided by four. So we drew a tape diagram. The length of the rope is cut into four equal cords and we can show that in our models by partitioning our two fifths into so let's start by showing those two fifths. This is one entire meter, and that would be five out of five. 
one, two, three, four, five. I need to show two fifths or two out of those five pieces. Okay, so there they are. And I can also label it so it's super clear. Two fifths. And now I'm going to show that same amount in our next diagram below it. And I'm taking my two fifths and I'm dividing it up into four equal pieces. So in this second tape diagram down here, I'm going to show my entire blue rectangle being divided up into four pieces. One, two, three, four. And I want to know the length of each of these pieces. So that becomes my unknown. We partitioned two shaded units into four equal parts. And let's kind of review what we've already done. We originally drew the two fifths. We shaded two of them to represent the length of the rope. And now we can see that our fractional unit that our model is showing is actually out of 10 entire pieces. Ah, okay, so we represented the two fifths again, but we need to continue representing the rest of this tape diagram. So in two pieces, there are four. So here's another two, one, two, three, four, and then one would be two pieces. So they're asking how many pieces are in our entire model down here now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're working out of tenths now. One of these pieces is one tenth. So each cord is one tenth of a meter long, and we can check that using our keep change flip method. Keep the first fraction the same, change our sign to division to multiplication, and then flip four over one becomes one over four. Two over twenty can be reduced. If we divide by two, divide by two, to one over ten meters. So if the tape diagram is something that clicks with you a little bit better than the area models, you can practice using that today. But our goal is to show your work in your packet using both a model and a standard algorithm, how we practiced here, where we drew the picture and then we also checked it with keep change flip. Before you get your packets, I do want you to do A, B, and C in your notebooks with your team on a whiteboard as long as everyone at your table is um, using the area model, the tape diagram, keep change flip, you are good to go. Thanks so much.